And this is the type of camera that people like Ansel Adams, Edward Weston, Paul Strand, uh, Elliot Porter, or Walker Evans, they all used this type. Uh, this is an 8x10. There was also 4x5, 5x7. Uh, I think this one is not so old, actually. It's, I don't know how old it is, 10, well, maybe 15 years old. They still make them. They don't make circuit cameras at all anymore. They do make, um, I would, should mention, they make modern versions of circuit cameras. But uh, when I first started with large format, I went to 4x5, but I wasn't that impressed with the image quality. So I went to an 8x10, and, um, and there is a big difference in image quality. So any, if you enlarge any piece of film four up, you know, four times up, it's going to degrade the image quality. Well, this camera um, works on a little bit different, I suppose. I'll show you. Uh, See, I'm trying to think how many lenses. I have five lenses for this camera. And um, I'll go ahead and put on my uh, 240 millimeter lens, which is a nine inch lens. A lot of the old lenses were, um, that are American made, are the, the focal lengths are listed in, in uh, inches. This is a newer lens. It's a Nikon. It's 240 millimeters. And the focus, the same exact thing. I think I'll see if I can, yeah. You can probably see some of the screen back there. OK. Now, one thing about these cameras that's different and very different is they have what's called movements. And I use movements a lot. And movements, there's, are, there's different types of movements. There's, uh, I'll show you quite a few of them. There's front, there's tilt. This is called front tilt. And then uh, there's front, uh, this is that's a, also that's a base tilt, and the first one was an axial tilt. Then there's front swing, there's swing, there's front shift, and then there's front rise and fall. And on the rear of the camera, I have a few t uh, movements. I have uh, I have tilts basically, rear tilts, and front tilts, or not front tilts, but it's a tilt. And I also have a swing. And these movements produce, um, I'll tell you what they do. The main thing they're used for is if I was to photograph you, I'd see you in the front row and someone back there. If I had a, let's say, a 35 millimeter camera or a medium format or any camera, I would probably focus about three rows back and then stop the lens down and use depth of field to try to make sure that everybody's sharp. With this camera, what I'd do is I would actually do a little bit of tilt. And that would actually take the plane of focus and move it. And I use this extensively in landscapes and uh, to bring everything into focus. And the same with a swing. If, if uh, I'm going down a canyon wall, I can get both front and uh, near and far into focus by using uh, some uh, swing. And even um, there are digital, I mean, even digital has uh, digital view cameras now because they you, you can correct perspective with digital, but you can't put things into focus that aren't into focus. Like this, if I want to um, photograph a, um, a tall building, instead of doing that, I would keep the camera level. And there are levels on this camera on the back. And I would use the front rise. And uh, you know, all this thing, one thing about to show you is uh, this camera has interchangeable bellows.
And this is something I use a lot. And I'll show you why. This is called a bag bellows. And you put this in here. And um, when I get my shortest focal length lens on, I'll show you. Get my shortest lens on. What happens is you have the. Um, this is not my shortest lens, but my shortest lens would be focused something like this. What happens is you want to use front rise, you can't because those bellows are all compressed. So you put this bellows on, and it allows you to have a lot of front rise. If I tried to do that with the other bellows, I couldn't do it. If I were to, if, if I had already made the uh, focus. And I wanted to uh, make an exposure. What I would do is the film is in holders. When I travel, I have, I think I have about 25 holders. And 25 holders will last me, uh, oh, I don't know, four days maybe. And each holder has two halves to it, two slides. And I've got a piece of film in here. And this is a negative, one that's been developed. But if it hadn't been developed, it'd have a, a tan appearance to it. But this is, when you load the film, you load the holders in complete darkness. And there's a notch on here. You can feel it. And, you, and when I'm traveling, what I do is I, every few days, I have to go to a motel room and get into the bathroom and unload these holders in complete darkness and then reload them. Well, when you got, this is all done in complete darkness. You close the slide and have the white showing. If the black shows, it means that uh, that signifies that the film has been exposed. Well, when you're ready to expose and you've done all your adjustments, your swings, your tilts, you've focused, you've made everything you want to do, you put the, uh, uh, quite a number of times I've opened, uh, pulled the dark slide with the lens open. That, of course, ruins everything. And then you um, put a light meter reading. I would go for the shadows, and that, see it's very dark in here, 22 would take um, 15 seconds, which isn't too bad, but what I would do, up into, oh I've done some that are over 20 minutes, I would uh, adjust the, the uh, lens aperture, and I don't know if I've shown you this, I'll show it to you right now. The lenses are all have apertures, and they're all manually adjusted. So I did a light meter reading. Anyway, I closed that shutter again, cocked the shutter, and in this case, I'm going to use the T setting. And the T setting means when I press it once, shutter opens. When I press it twice, shutter closes. And I would pull the dark slide, and I'd wait a few seconds just for everything to calm down. And then I would do the exposure, and I just count and we would do 15 seconds. And then I would, of course, I would have the bellows hooked, because if I don't, I'll vignette the image. And then when you get back home, I, I store all the box, the film in, in the boxes, and I go through the long, involved process of developing the film.